Okay, FAQ number 21. Is it ever right to use contraceptives? Birth control. Uh, this is a question I was asked, and I've been asked it before, so I thought I would address this in an FAQ. Um, no. Okay. And uh, the, the thing was there, what if you're having financial problems or what if, you know, more children are going to make, you know, bigger issues and things like this. Um, when you use contraceptives, you are essentially aborting uh, babies. Okay. Uh, no. I don't think it's ever right. And I understand there's a whole lot that goes into this whole thing. Um, people get themselves in debt and then they get saved and it's like, oh great, we got the debt and all this other stuff and children are a big burden and you have uh, children that are born at the hospital system. Now they're doing C-sections on most uh, babies, you know, I've heard and I, most women I've known that have had children, you know, it's C-section, you know, I mean, there's, there's women I've know of, uh, had a friend, his wife had a baby and it was like, there wasn't even an attempt to birth a child naturally. It was just like C-section. So you got the surgery cost. And a lot of health insurance things don't even cover, you know, childbirthing. It's insane. But so yes, I know that there is a financial thing there. I understand that. But the to try and say, well, we're going to use contraceptives to eliminate the possibility of becoming with child, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. And uh, of course, you know, if you're having financial difficulties, you know, do you have a new car? Do you have a mortgage? Do you have uh, are you living in a place that you don't really need is that big of a place or in an area that it's too expensive to live? I mean, are you, do you have a cell phone? Give me a break. You know, that's expensive monthly expense. You can eliminate with no problem. You know, a lot of things. There's a lot of, of aspects to it there. Um, but just give you two verses of scripture here. Psalm 127. Psalm 127. Verse 3, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is His reward. Okay, it's a good thing to have children. You know, and here in, here in uh, America, we've been brainwashed now that, you know, two to three children is about the right number, and having large families is some kind of a bad thing. Why? Well, our government and our media is taken over by Satanists. So they want to go against this verse here. Whenever the Bible says this is a good thing, the media and the government will say, no, that's actually a bad thing. You know, the earth is overpopulated. No, it isn't. <laughs> the earth is not overpopulated, okay? Uh, there's, people are doing things the wrong way. If the technologies and things of, of using water for fuel um, and uh, harnessing the earth's electromagnetic field, I mean, you'd have free fuel, you'd have free electricity, uh, no worries about power ever going out or whatever else. I mean, there's so many technologies that are being kept from people. And if those things would be released and people would live a lot smarter than they're doing right now, there's plenty of room out there, okay? I mean, you fly over certain parts of America even, and there's, you know, hundreds of miles where nobody's even living. You know, so don't believe this overpopulation thing. That's, that's another aspect to this whole thing. It's just ridiculous. But... You say, but, uh, but what if there's health issues? What if a, a woman goes through kind of a difficult childbirth and now she's got some health issues, but she doesn't want to disobey 1 Corinthians chapter 7, withholding her body from her husband for the normal relationship, the marriage bed? What do you do about that? You know, because having another child right away might be a danger type of a thing and, you know, whatever. Turn to Genesis chapter 20. I can show you that... Uh, Birth control, contraceptives, is actually in the Bible. But it's different than what most people think. Genesis chapter 20, verse 18. Well, so we'll start at verse 17. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. If God doesn't want you to have children, you won't have children. He can close up the womb and say, it doesn't matter how much you try, you're not going to have a child right now. See, again, we go to this thing of insurance. You know, contraceptives are another insurance policy. Well, I can't, you know, having a child right now would be a bad thing, so we have to have our insurance policy there, contraceptives, because we can't trust God to know the right timing 
whether we should have a child or not right now. You see? Why not just trust the Lord and let Him take care of the thing? And let Him provide? And, you know, if you if you got all kinds of, of debts and stink, stuff like that, well, that was your own doing. You know, and again, you know, try to get yourself out of debt. Cut down on the spending. There's a lot of things that you can cut out of your, your daily life that'll free up more money. Okay? So, is it ever right for a Christian to use contraceptives? No, I don't believe it is. I believe that you should just put your faith in the Lord and let Him take care of things like that. Get yourself out of debt. Okay? You shouldn't be in debt. If God gives more children and you say, you're, you know, my husband doesn't have a very good job, what are we going to do? The Lord's going to provide. I mean, don't you think He can provide for you? 